I'm going to begin, uh, guys, by asking. I mean, when I first saw the title to this movie, I just because I hadn't, I wasn't aware of the graphic novel. I was a little bit unsure, and I was just wondering what your kind of initial reaction was when you first received the screenplay. And is was this a case of putting a lot of faith into the filmmaker? Because so much of this is about establishing the tone, which Bird yeah. did tremendously. But I, I guess in initial stages, that must have been quite daunting. Yeah, a little bit. I think some 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 of us have been a bit nervous. I mean, I'd heard of the book through a lot of American friends because it was a New York Times bestseller over there. So um, I'd heard of it and I knew that it was really good fun. So they said, just just read it, give it a go. I read it and it was amazing. And when you hear names like David O. Russell and, and Burr and, and all the amazing cast and crew that attached, you were like, I think this could be good. This could be really different. So... It yeah, it's still the same for me. It was, um, I mean, I live in the States, so I think I was quite aware of it for a while. Um, and, uh, you know, it, as Doug said, it was like, a, yeah, the, like on, on the New York bestseller list. Um, but it's, um, it's so nice when you uh, hear a name like that and you think it's going to be some sort of crappy sort of knockoff like B movie. And, you, and you're actually so pleasantly surprised because it stays very sort of faithful and true to the original Austin novel. It doesn't actually sort of, you know, I guess, sacrifice any of the original themes. If anything, it heightens certain things. And we've seen it done a few times brilliantly. I mean, quite a few times. So it's quite nice to put an extra spin on it. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it, you know, it's one of those movies that you can actually really go and enjoy. You just have to sort of relinquish all your doubts. <laughs> just go and have fun. Yeah. yeah. But you're right, I mean, about it kind of remaining faithful to the original. Yeah. So I was wondering, in regards to your preparations for the role, did you... Uh, based on Mr. Bingley and Mr. Wickham, on the characters Jane Austen created, or were they very much kind of versions taken from this particular screenplay in this separate universe? I mean, yours was probably slightly more different. Much more, for the, I was more in this one, actually, but much more in the script and book, so. For, but mine was, I think, Bingley from Aust just Austen's universe and how would Bingley fare, and he was just a bit helpless when it came to mm. zombie slaying, really, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think it is about zombie movies that just captures the kind of imaginations of audiences? Because, I mean, there are a lot of them being made, but yeah. that's because we like them so much. It's probably because of the thought it could happen. Not so much zombies, like the undead, like coming back to life, but the thought of like some kind of disease, mass that, yeah. sort of epidemic that like just sends everyone loopy and does it. That's why, you know, those movies, I think actually the, the fear factor that, it, that it's not that, Bizarre it's that the it could actually happen. Fact, part of sci-fi, or sort of, you know, that could actually potentially come true in some in way. some form. If you think about it, yeah, yeah. So, if you could go back and add zombies to any piece of literature ever, what would you uh, like to add zombies to? Oh, we were having this conversation yeah. earlier. You said Chekhov. I'm with Chekhov. Yeah, Three sisters and zombies. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm sticking with the girl power thing. Yeah, that would be fun. I'd like to see that. Yeah. See how Masha would take him down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you've both got a couple of really exciting projects done. I start with you, Jack. Obviously, the Ben Hur um, film. I mean, this is obviously based on the same source material as the original Ben Hur film. So, are you, everyone associated, with this quite keen to ensure that this is taken as a retelling of the story as opposed to a remake of the original movie. Yeah, because it was Lou Wallace's novel, which was, um, which I, I'd say it's actually very faithful to that. Um, and you know, this is the fourth movie adaptation of the book. Um, but it's it's wonderful. You know, I saw it the other day and we're so proud of it. I think, um, you know, really big boots to film, I wouldn't even say shoes, or sandals maybe. <laughs> um, but uh, it was, uh, it's really special and I feel so proud to be a part of it. And um, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, it'll be a fun one. Because uh, Douglas is a storm in the stars with Haifa Al Mansour. Yeah. I mean, her debut, Wadja, was a Incredible. revelation. I mean, I'm just wondering, is it one of those instances where you saw that and just thought, whatever she <laughs> is doing next, I'm happy to kind of go yeah. along Yeah, I mean, it's such an amazing story. Um, and, and, you know, about Percy Shelley and Mary Shelley. And, and I just thought that the themes of that movie were perfect for the themes of this film. So I just think she'll be able to handle it brilliantly. And she has such a, such a great vision. She just sort of understands sort of the insides of people a bit when you actually talk to her. And she's just fantastic. So I'm very excited to work with her and Elle Fanning and, and Belle Powell. Yeah, and, and just finally, I mean, when there's a zombie apocalypse, if it was to ever happen, there are two ways you can kind of go about it. You can be one of those people that goes and fights, or you can be one of those people that goes and hides. And I was wondering which side you guys, guys would go. Well, I think I'd definitely, definitely give it a go and fight. I mean, I was always, I'm always pretty good on the paintball pitch. So give me a gun yeah. and I'll see how... Fight, I, but I'm pretty clumsy. That's the only trouble. <laughs> I'd probably trip, fall at the first hurdle. 
Maybe like become a zombie after a bit or something, you know, like get fight until you get turned and you know, who knows? Maybe yeah. there's a cure. Maybe <laughs> being a zombie isn't so bad. Maybe, maybe it's, it's not fun. the worst. Yeah. Exactly. Not much pressure. If you go, if you with go a out, bunch of mates, you know, because you know, all if you, zombies. If you go out on a Friday night, most people just look like zombies. Anyway, exactly. Like, so maybe just there's play, it, act a zombie. You don't have to worry about paying fine. gas bills anymore. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Well, thanks so much for Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!